G'day everybody, Paul and Pauline here and we're with some friends from our club during the week and uh, they're lovely, that's Karen and Di and Daryl. So we're going to bring you Easter messages from uh, their home and let's the Lord be glorified. Mm. So what's the Easter message going to be about? The first uh, message today is going to be about the crucifixion and the death of Jesus and as we know that... Um, Jesus died for our sin so it was a very cruel death um, a, on a Roman cross um, and he died so that we might be forgiven and have eternal life and uh, I'll read just this little bit from Luke chapter 23 verses 26 as they led Jesus away a man named Simon who was from Cyrene happened to be coming in from the countryside the soldiers seized him and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd trailed behind, including many grief-stricken women. But Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, don't weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are coming when they say, Fortune indeed are those women who are childless, the wombs that have not borne a child and breasts that have never nursed. People will beg the mountains, fall on us, and plead with the hills, bury us. For if these things are done when the tree is green, what will happen when it's dry? Two others, both criminals, were led out to be executed with him. When they came to a place called the skull, they nailed him to the cross. And the criminals were also crucified, one on his right and one on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. And the soldiers gambled for his clothes by throwing dice. The crowd watched and the leaders scoffed. He saved others, they said. Let him save himself if he is really God's Messiah, the Chosen One. The soldiers mocked him too by offering him a drink of sour wine. They called out to him, If you are the King of the Jews, save yourself. A sign was fastened above him with these words. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals hanging beside him scoffed. So you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself. And us too while you're at it. But the other criminal protested. Don't you fear God, even when you have been sentenced to die? We deserve to die for our crimes, but this man hasn't done anything wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. By this time it was about noon and darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. The light from the sun was gone and suddenly the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn down the middle. Then Jesus shouted, Father, I entrust my spirit into your hands. And with these words he breathed his last. When the Roman officer overseeing the execution saw what had happened, he worshipped God and said, Surely this man was innocent. And when all the crowd that came to see the crucifixion saw what had happened, they went home in deep sorrow. But Jesus' friends, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching. Hallelujah. Pastor, that was wonderful reading and thank you for the story. Good Friday, special day, very special day, very sad one, very painful one for our Lord. And uh, we just love him, we love what he did for us. No greater love than this, and the man who lays down his life for his friends. And we're his friends if we follow him and if we uh, listen to him and obey him. So you, you have a good day. You get into the word yourself and let the word of God get into you.